Hey guys, and welcome back to Everyday AI, the channel where we talk about how artificial intelligence affects your everyday life. It's 2019, and a lot of people have been talking about where artificial intelligence is going to go in the new year. I've seen predictions from more surveillance bots to better healthcare to new voice assistants that can listen to us a little better and also maybe help our children not pray to them because um, that's a little problematic. As someone who goes to MIT, I've been hearing a lot about our new College of Computing, which is gonna focus on artificial intelligence and the pros and cons of that, as well as new organizations that are focusing on artificial intelligence and ethics, from the club that just started here in my program to, to organizations like AI Now, to organizations like the Algorithmic Justice League. So given that it's January 2nd, I thought I'd throw some of my ideas into the ring as to where artificial intelligence is going to go in the new year. I'll start with a field that's particularly close to my heart, healthcare, which is the larger field that I work in. I think that artificial intelligence has the potential to have a significant impact on healthcare this year. We've seen in the past that AI can diagnose better than doctors, can identify things in MRI scans or CT scans or x-rays that the average radiologist doesn't always see, and we're starting to see a lot of those things get implemented in the clinic. As a lot of the software is eligible to go through the 510k process through the FDA, we should start seeing a lot of it being deployed in hospitals this year. Moving to another topic, one really interesting thing that came out of MIT this year was an AI algorithm that basically mapped the entire world. So in rural communities where there aren't necessarily streets or addresses, we were able to put some sort of identifier on all of those spaces. And that seems like it could be really interesting if it were deployed in 2019 we'd be able to really get an understanding of where communities are and how we can get things to them without having to rely on word of mouth. Another area that I think we'll see a lot more of in 2019 is explainable artificial intelligence. So I just read a paper that came out of the University of Washington. They were looking at developing a system that could predict whether you would have a complication during surgery. And one of the really interesting things that they did was that they developed this additional algorithm them that very clearly explained how the artificial intelligence was making its decision on what ended up being a risk factor, a number that signified how at risk a patient was. And I think that we're going to see a lot more of that. So that algorithm in particular is available to anyone who wants to use it. You don't just have to use it with medicine, you can use it for whatever. And I think we're going to see a lot more of that, especially as artificial intelligence becomes involved in more complicated and more impactful decisions. And then along that line, I think we're gonna see a lot more people getting involved in the legislation and ethics and policy of artificial intelligence, because we've really reached the point where artificial intelligence probably needs regulations. We have things like Waymo's new autonomous car service that you can take around Phoenix, although some people aren't too thrilled with that. We have things like Amazon's drone system, which they're looking to deploy for deliveries. And so at a certain point, the government kind of needs to step in and make sure that everything's being used in accordance with the law and in a way that makes sure that everyone involved stays safe. And finally, I'm interested in where we're going to go with AI that can see. I've done a lot of videos this year on generative adversarial networks, or GANs, which do things like paint pictures or make my face look different. And the power of GANs just seems to be increasing and increasing every time I read a new paper about it. So I think that in 2019, we're gonna start seeing GANs deployed in scenarios that we never thought of, or that are much more complex than we thought that artificial intelligence could handle before today. As always in 2019, I plan to cover all artificial intelligence that, well, maybe not all, as much artificial intelligence once a week as I can that affects your life. So I'm not going to be covering new papers. Um, if you're interested in new papers, you should check out Two Minute Papers. Um, it's another YouTube channel. They do awesome summaries of papers that just came out in AI. It's really great. And I'm not going to be teaching machine learning as much, aside from more conceptual explanations of things that I'm talking about. I'm more interested in talking about the ways that we as people, as an average person, are going to be interacting with artificial intelligence in our daily lives, as the channel motto goes. 
As always, if there's something you want to see me cover, definitely let me know in the comments. Let me know what your 2019 predictions are for artificial intelligence. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!